What's up YouTube fam? Listen, today we're gonna to talk about how to attract women and get that dream crush you always wanted. Let's get straight into it. And what are some huge red flags that you see in men? Uh, the lying. <laughs> Liars out here. Can you tell if a guy has money just by looking at him? Let's say he pulls up at a Mercedes Benz AMG 2024. What are you thinking? He got it rented. <laughs> And Instagram, do you ever go to look to see who he's following? Like, if he's following only fan models or fitness models on Instagram, does it matter what type of car a man drives? No, not really. So, you know, back in the day, I used to have like an old little Honda Accord. If I pulled up in it for a date night, we, we, we cool. First of all, I got a Honda Accord. <laughs> Let's say we, we met three years ago and I was in a Honda Accord. Are you expecting me to eventually like move up to a different car? Like would it be an issue if I stayed in a Honda Accord five, ten years later? Nah, because Hondas are reliable. I'm about to be a dentist and my next car is going to still be a Honda. So, yeah. No. So you don't care for like BMWs, Mercedes, and things like that? Nah, I don't come from a lot. So I, it's not like I don't expect a lot, but I'm not very materialistic because of that. Listen guys, stop trying to flex. I don't know who you're trying to flex for. You guys are renting out these cars. You know, you're getting this Airbnb or this hotel for the weekend and you're living, you're putting on this pretend lifestyle on Instagram. I'm, I'm so fortunate that that was something that I never got caught up in. I never was gonna work that hard at something that didn't matter. Guys, we don't have time for that. We have to be investing in your business, trying to build generational wealth, you know, investing in your assets. Focus on the important things and women can tell when you're flexing. And even if she's a little young, she's a little naive, whatever the case may be, you know, when someone gets to know you and they see your day-to-day -day life, they're gonna know what you're about. And that stuff is gonna come out. So man, do like, be humble, know where you're at in life and be wise. Like a lot of women are now knowing, man, when most of the guys are wearing that designer, designer this, designer that, driving this car, they know that you guys are struggling. So there's no point in flexing. I'm not saying don't ever buy that stuff. If you wanna buy that stuff, I buy that stuff. If you wanna buy it, that's cool, but make sure you can afford it. Like don't, don't try to keep up with the Joneses. That's something that I'm always working on every day. It's not easy, especially, you know, with Instagram. And, and a lot of people, they say, oh man, you know, he, what does he have? He doesn't have it. You know, if those people are concerned about what you're wearing and what you're driving, you don't need them in your life anyway. So like a lot of, we gotta, we gotta understand what's important and understand that, you know, a lot of people don't have the right morals in this day and time and the right value system. So guys, do not be out here wasting your money like splurging. What is your favorite body part on a man? The arms. I like big, strong arms. So you don't care if a man has skinny legs? Nah, he gotta have the legs too. I like them thick all around. They gotta be well-rounded. So you, so you do, you talk about this guy, this dude gotta be at least 200 pounds then. Yeah. <laughs> so if he, if he, if he like 155, it, it, ain't, it ain't happening. So what's the, okay, so I guess you have a weight requirement. What's the lowest weight you would go? Probably 190. All right, hey, listen, man, guys, get your weight up, man. You know, get up them protein shakes. You know, get your protein in, do whatever you gotta do, but get to it. Oh, definitely, this goes for men and females. I love the V-cut. The like, V-cut? Like, the V-cut. What's the, what's, what's the V-cut? Explain, break it down. It's like right here, it's a part of your abdomen area. Like, this area right here. When it's strong, it's just, mm. <laughs> Would you say that guys who are fit, is there such thing as a guy being too fit? Um, when you're to the point of taking steroids, Probably, because that makes you sterile, and that can give you ED too. So if you saw me, you'd be like, oh, that's cool, it's not, he's not too fit, or what? What do you think? You gotta get your weight up. You would say, I'll say, No, I think you're good. Man, please put the work in. I'm not saying to take steroids, but make sure you're putting the work in. You know, girls want a guy that can at least squat more than them. And you know, keep your weight up. And just, you know, I'm not saying you gotta be the biggest dude in the world. I'm not saying you have to weigh 200 pounds or 190. But even if you are 150 or you're 165, whatever it can be, be a tone, have abs, have functional strength. Because as we get older, you don't wanna start having shoulder pain, back pain, because you're just functionally weak. That was something that I had when I was in high school as a freshman. I just wasn't the strongest kid. So I really had to start lifting weights so I could be a lot stronger. So guys, please make sure you guys are getting strong and taking care of yourself. Hey man, go get that TLF apparel. Ladies and gentlemen, link is in the description below. Use the link and you'll get 15% off. There's a special deal coming out. Go check it out, man. Let's get it. Can you tell if a man is financially secure just by looking at him? I mean, I'm gonna be honest, probably not. Cause some people just put their money in different areas. 
I feel like the people who be wearing like Gucci belts and stuff like that, like they're the ones that aren't really financially secure. Like they could have a broken tooth in the back and all they got is that Gucci belt going for them. So I don't know. You guys are also talking to a dentist. So that's why she said broken tooth. But so if a guy pulls up, let's say he pulls up at a Mercedes Benz AMG 2024. What are you thinking? He got it rented. <laughs> <laughs> what are some huge red flags that you see in men? Uh, the lying. <laughs> Some liars out here. <laughs> what do you what do you be like lie like lie like how? Like they got liabilities. Like they just be like for no reason. <laughs> As if it's a sickness lie <laughs> that they can't get rid of. Like <laughs> this shit is so crazy. Do they lie about dumb stuff or like is it like do you, do you think it even makes sense or like are the lies just ridiculous? It doesn't. Like the lies are so ridiculous. They be lying about small things, big things. And my thing is like it's a red flag if you be small like lying about the smallest little stuff because if you can lie to me about something small, like oh yeah I. Wash my underwear. Like <laughs> you can lie to me about anything. So. so if a guy lies about little stuff, is that like, are you automatic like, oh, I can't, I can't date him, I can't talk to him? Oh yeah, no, because my thing is, it's childish. This just shows that you're very immature and like you have not grown. Lying for no reason. Okay, okay. Listen, man, please stop lying. Women know when you're lying. Even off camera, Ash told me, she said, hey, you know what? I can tell whenever a guy's lying and I just look at them and I really lose respect for them. That's the quickest way to lose a woman. I remember one of my previous relationships when I was a lot younger, you know, I was telling so many stories, I was lying. And you know, <laughs> once one lie came out, the rest of them just started coming out and then she never believed anything I said. So it was, it was a really, it was an important lesson that I had to learn that, you know, lying isn't necessary. You only lie when you're scared or when you're insecure about something. So I challenge you guys to, you know, be comfortable in your own skin. And I know it's hard and it's challenging with all these social norms that we have on us that, oh, we need to be making this amount of money. We need to be driving this car. We need to be living in this house. And, but understand, you know, we're young or even if you're older, you know, as long as you get up the next day, you know, even sometimes I get down, like earlier today, I was so down. And then, you know, I just thought like, man, I have an opportunity to keep going. So guys, like realize that you have opportunity and that where you're at today is not where you're going to be at tomorrow. Looking back at that time when I was lying, you know, it was so unnecessary. Now that I look back, I'm like, wow, that was really immature. And I was really just insecure at that time. And now I look at how far I've come and I'm like, man, you know what? I wish I would have cherished that time when, you know, when I felt insecure instead of understanding that that's where I was at in life. It's okay to be in a certain place because you understand where you're going. So never ever trip off of what is going on or what people are telling you. Just understand who you are and what you bring to the table and understand that the work that you're putting in. If you're putting in the work every day, you have nothing to be insecure about. Like everyone started somewhere. Don't let people confuse you or lie to you and tell you that they didn't start somewhere. Everyone started, you know, at the ground zero and had to work their way up unless they were just born into like a blessed family that had a lot of money. But for the most of us, you know, we had to work to get it. So if you're grinding, you're putting the work in, be very confident where you're at. So, and don't lie to these women. You know, they look up to us, we're supposed to lead them. They're looking for our guidance and they don't want the leader lying to them because that, that creates an unstable environment. So guys, man, listen, we, we can't do the lying, man. We, we can't do it. Let's get it. All right, I hope you guys enjoy Ash's responses and my tips. Also, don't forget to check out the TLF Apparel. The link is in the description below. If you use the link, you'll get 15% off. And you can check out our performance gear. We have a bunch of different stuff. This is for men and women. Also, make sure you email me the word ebook at contentperformance at gmail.com. That way you'll get a free fitness plan for you can do at-home workouts along with tips and tricks that I do. And also, you'll get a diet plan. So stay locked in with me. Okay, guys, listen, I got a bunch of content that's coming out each and every day. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button. I also have other gym crush videos where I give tips and tricks. So check that out. Content performance all day. We out.